right, this is Danielle. She runs Amiga Amore here in LA. I'm super excited to start here today. So the most important thing is the truck. Really, and I think that's why the malls aren't made all the time year round. They're mostly like made around Christmas because yeah, it's a labor of love. First thing that I want to get started with is we're gonna cook them. There's a few options for steamers. One is the tamale pan. So this one actually has holes. It's mm -hmm. already built for that. So first things first, we're gonna go water, and it's a quart, so that's like about four cups. Four cups. Hot tin, you can get this any market. So you just want to like maybe four holes because this is going to uh, be our steamer. So now we go in downwards so that we have like that kind of inch. Um, foil is also your friend. Okay, so another important step is to use some leftover uh, husks that you have to just kind of cover. You don't want like metal along with the mala. So this right. kind of just creates our little guy. Get everybody to stand, so this is another one. And they can like lean, it's okay. They just need to be facing up. So now as those are cooking, we are going to make the masa. Basically my ratio is two to one more. So it's two cups of the dry masa, two cups of chicken stock. So this is the liquid that I got from making the chicken filling. One cup of the lard, one teaspoon of baking powder. The things that can be substituted if you don't want lard is shortening, Butter. Lard makes everything better, people. If you're, oh, it's if like you're not vegan, use the freaking lard. It Look tastes it. better it's and it's, all it's not as bad for you no. as people okay. make it out to be. Sugar is worse. And then another part that goes into this is salt. Okay. Seasoning. Season every step of the way. So now we kind of have like a wet sand looking. Now we're going to do the liquid by half. So for the chicken, um, I boil it in water, a little bit of carrots, onions, garlic. Okay. So I'm flavoring the chicken, but I'm also flavoring the broth. Exactly. And that. So once the chicken's ready, then I pull it, um, the liquid becomes what I use to make the masa. Okay, so now we are looking pretty good. And it's like very soft consistency. It's going to be really good to spread. Can I? Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that smells good. Real quick before we begin, let's talk about fillings. Traditionally, it's the red beef, the pork, verde, or poblano and cheese, which we call rajas. Mm. Um, so we're gonna make one of each. Okay. So this is this is probably the easiest one too. Um, you have to roast the pepper, and you want it to be like very dark. And you want to use that leave room on this on the right. Yeah, so we're going about halfway, like maybe four inches you're gonna to go to like here, and high you're gonna to go to like here. Okay. So this is one way to do it. The next way to do it is I make like a little a little log. Still do it on the same side. Ooh. 
push down. And then kind of roll it out. Oh, that's technique right there. And then I just use one more to kind of flatten it. So okay. for the poblano cheese one, I like to use queso Oaxaca, which mm -hmm. is Oaxaca cheese from Oaxaca. And what is so great about it is it's very similar to mozzarella yeah. and it shreds. So you can just shred it into little pieces like that. Okay, so the beef braised. So um, that liquid, I like to do um, a little bit of stock I'm going to show you right now how to sear it because you really want to get a good sear on it okay. and season it. Look at that color. Um, it's a mixture of guajillos, California chili, and a little pasilla. And all you have to do is rehydrate them. So that's another yep. step maybe when you're soaking your husks, you're soaking your chilies as well okay. so that you can just blend that. So the chicken verde. Ooh. And you do want to make sure that it's thin enough and that you're adding a good amount of filling because you would hate to just have like a masa cake. Then it's a salsa verde. Okay. Tomatillos, onion, garlic, cilantro. All on a sheet tray in an oven yep. and until they're soft. There's your sauce. Okay, so we can begin by doing the beef. So what's going to happen is this end is going to here. Not to the very end because it needs to seal. So you go here, you push down here. What about there? Beautiful. All the way there. We're pushing here to seal the deal. And then here. Ah, oh, cool. And here, no? Here, yeah. Okay. We fold up. Perfect. And with the remainder here, that is our salon. And so there's a few ways to shut them. String mm -hmm. one. I'm gonna show you. So string is one. A husk. The little tear. Oh, I love um, it. The traditional. And you could just, you know, with the and you just want to make sure you use the long one so that you're not having to kind of, you know. Uh, you, yeah. To, yeah. you need enough not space enough exactly because you want to do it two times. This okay. one is a little bit loose, so you want to do like that. So there's that way. Let's do our pepper one. What's our Somebody pepper? said you don't eat the husk. No, chat. You do not eat the husk. <laughs> you just wait for it, all right? This, oh, exactly. I'm going to show you. This is like a, the little present, the wrapping paper. Exactly. You wouldn't eat the wrapping paper. So uh, you can definitely, after they are cooked, use it um, on the plate so that you can you know, uh, plate your tamale, it'll look nice, um, but this is trash. Oh, the poblano smells so good. Okay, so nice and steamed. So, um, the other part is now we're going to open it up and the seeds. Okay, so um, I like to do it into like strips. Okay. okay. And then that becomes here. That is. So this is your cheese and poblano one. I'm very inspired now to go to make, make yeah. different flavors. Mm -hmm. Really, it's the the base is your masa. So. It's really whatever meat you want. Okay, so those are our tamales. So, the next little bit is the searing method. You're going to think like, oh my god, that's so much salt, but it Looks good to me. <laughs> you need a good crust. And salt and pepper. Okay. Um, I'm going to already turn on the stove because you do want it to get hot. The okay. whole searing method is so you hear that. If you don't hear that, 
take the meat out immediately. Okay. <laughs> it's pointless. It will, you're gonna boil it. Uh, okay, so I am smoking. That's what you want to see. Like nice oh, yeah. steam. The meat that I use is um, chuck or a roast. Okay. Um, you can use short rib. That's what's actually included in the bite box this year is a short rib bone marrow. Oh. So, like I said, it's really what you wish. Okay. okay, so the point is to get this sear. What a lot of people do at this point is they want to just keep playing with it. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. <laughs> Look it. at that face. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. So then you're just, you're ruining it. You're ruining it. You don't have to touch don't the meat too much. Go. Don't move it. That's a nice cut. That's what the other side looks like. So now we can flip. So nice, hard little crust, but round. The rule of thumb is golden brown, delicious. <laughs> Stop glass <laughs> and. And so at this point, now we're ready to. And that should be what you hear. All right. And now what we're gonna do, no longer on the stove, lid with foil, or if you have a pan, a uh, metal on metal, and the oven. Oh. About three hours. Wow. So I like to do 350 degrees or even 300 degrees so it's nice and low and slow. Now, what's our time on the tamales? Let's check. Let's see. Let's Almost see. a little less than eight minutes. Okay, so by the time that we rolled and everything, they were cooking. for the community. We have a huge Latino community. Um, so they've been asking for this, and I know different countries also have their own ways of doing things. Oh, yes. Um, so December 22nd, you guys, she's doing a pop-up yes. here in LA. You can use my code to get a discount on that. And how else can um, they order from your regular menu? Um, so uh, the next event that I'm doing is actually gonna be at McLeod for okay. 29, 30, and New Year's Eve. Whoa. So okay. um, we're there popping up and you can order food to go. It's here in Highland Park or you can come in and have a pint and a pasta and a lote. Yes. yes. Cool. Um, so we do have a special New Year's Eve menu. That is the next time that you can get food from us. Um, okay. Or this week it's the Bike Club and this is a full on feast for four. Comes with the hot sauce so you can have that for you know other things and yeah it's great. All right. Give the gift of tamales. Yes. 
Thank you so much once again. Uh, yes. I'll get all that information from you as Perfect. well. And then if you guys missed it throughout the stream, I'll put it on Discord and all of our social media so you can get all of the information for Amiga Amore and order their delicious food. Yay. Thank you, Danielle. Thank, Thank you. So much. Absolutely. It was a pleasure. Bye, guys. Bye.